The following tutorial will show how to create a Wikibook for GIS and public health. Users may have different perspectives on a certain topic, just like GIS and public health. And to meet the requirements and constraints of these users, we need to uh, create an individualized book. And this tutorial will support you in doing this. According to the low-cost objective of the Action Team 6 follow-up initiative, um, this wiki book will focus on uh, the subject GIS and public health. Nevertheless, this um, tutorial is applicable to other social, scientific or political domains. First of all, we select as an article to start with, in our case, is GIS and public health. In the left-hand menu, under print and export, we select to create a book. After starting the book creator, you select this page, this article, as first page by Start Book Creator. When you have started the book creator, you can navigate through Wikipedia and add selected articles to your Wikibook. And so you have an individualized uh, book for your requirements and constraints. Um, I added this GIS and public health article to, to the book and I provide a title for the new book with the first article added to it. The title is Spatial Public Health and the subtitle is GIS and Decision Support. By clicking on the article GIS and Public Health in your book manager you can go back to your content and uh, move through um, Wikipedia and select the article that uh, um, fulfills your requirements and constraints. Nevertheless, we have another option, Suggest Pages. Suggest Pages uh, provides an algorithm that extracts keywords that match other articles in Wikipedia that might be relevant for your book. Um, on the left-hand side, you see the suggestions, and just by clicking on the plus, you can add these articles to your Wikibook. This is uh, very quick. Um, adding of articles. On the right side you see how this your book is extended step by step by additional articles, public health informatics, spatial analysis, spatial decision support system, epidemiology and graphic information system. So step by step we um, organize our book um, and if we, if we go back to the book manager we can arrange our articles according to the content. And, um, and also we can remove part of the articles. The next step we select the format we want, a PDF document or an open office document and it takes a while just to collect all the articles, convert them into the open office format and then after the um, conversion is uh, done then you can download the file. And because it's an open office format you can open the spatial public health document in open office um, and when you are working in an, a word processing program you can edit the, the results and adapt them to requirements and constraints as usual as you work with an office document. But at least you get a full structured document with all the articles and uh, of course main, most of the time you need some additional adaption um, of the product. But nevertheless if you miss something in the, um, in the articles that is relevant in your document uh, you, it might be an option for you to change the original um, um, article in Wikipedia and, and improve the content in Wikipedia and then gain the improvements again in your created Wikibook. Um, this is uh, really efficient in a way that your contribution and your improvements are available for, all, for the whole community and other Wikibook creators starting from GIS and Public Health will uh, get the benefit um, of this improved articles as well. But nevertheless it might not uh, be an option for all of the changes so um, the an editable version of the open document uh, is also uh, an option for working with it. If you can just want a, a printed uh, PDF version without any changes you, you select the PDF document and then after a while, just the same as the open document format, you will get a PDF document uh, and uh, 
print that out or distribute it under the Creative Commons license. So download the file, open up in the PDF viewer, and there it is. Then this is the title of the book, and here are the contents, the articles, the images, the references, and this might be sufficient for most of the uh, basic wiki books, which do not need any editing. If you want an uh, open document and edit the, the book, then you have to uh, add additional work um, in the word processor, but that is, uh, that are the two options you have, export it to the open document format and work with it in a word processor or just create a PDF document, download it and use it for your purpose. The biggest benefit is that you can create Wikibooks tailored to your needs and only with the articles that are relevant for you. And that's it so far. There's one additional uh, thing to mention. If you want to save your books, uh, you have to create a uh, Wikipedia account. But it's not necessary to create a Wikibook. Just in case you want to proceed with your work, add additional articles, remove previous uh, added articles, and then it's recommended to create a Wikipedia account. As I mentioned before, it is recommended to optimize the original articles, add new references, instead of editing the exported document. This is really, really recommended because uh, any improvement of the article will provide it to the other community members and not only to your personal document. Access to technology and content is often limited due to financial constraints, especially in developing countries. Creating Wikibooks is a low-cost approach for creating books. Nevertheless, quality assurance is very important for the Wikipedia content. So, if you are an expert in a certain domain in spatial analysis or whatever you think about in, uh, in, in the context of GIS and public health, please improve the content in Wikipedia and the community will benefit from your improvements. So, thank you for watching this small tutorial and I hope you will benefit for creating your individualized books um, adapted and tailored to your uh, requirements and constraints.